There is a jamming podcast over mindfulness that comes out of India. It is for 20 and 30 year olds. It's all about conscious parenting, making authentic connections, and the same thing I talk about, mindset over bullshit. Check it out on Spotify. Check it out on Anchor. The host is Sukhan Chopra. The name of the show, Becoming an Epic Being. People ask me, how do I decide what to use for a promotion or an advertisement on my own damn daily show? Easy, dog. Ain't a nigga fly as me, ain't a nigga cold as me, ain't another nigga got a swag quite like. But hold up, hold up, that's the way I feel. But hold up, hold up, but that's the way I feel. Yo, ain't a nigga fly as me, ain't a nigga cold as me, ain't another nigga got a swag quite like. But hold up. And I'ma stay that way until I'm carried by six. I ain't just talking trap licks out of the mouth. Energy, thugs, rhinos, I use our language, dog. Our language. You can catch me in the boot, dog, breaking the knife. Ain't a nigga flies, ain't a nigga goes, ain't another nigga got a swag quite like. But hold up, hold up, that's the way I feel. That's the way I feel. Mindset over bullshit Every day It's never going to stop The bills are not going to stop None of this shit is going to stop You just got to keep going Mindset over bullshit Energy inside It's celebrating today man Your boy is 30 days 30 days sober, have not had a drop drop in 30 days. If I were to go like 45 days, I think I've had one drink in 45, a couple of drinks, I had two beers in 45. But man, 30 days free, 30 days sober. Let me tell you what it has done for me. Number one, 30 days sober has let me know the difference between smoking chronic, and smoking CBD. I understand now that smoking that chronic, yo man, I am higher than the cost of gas right now. But I'm shaking and freezing up. I'm having seizures. I'm having all type of physical issues. I just really don't give a damn because I'm high as shit, like I'm laughing. It hurts, but I'm laughing. I get, I'm still having a good time. And when I hit that CBD, I'm not high. I'm very, cognitive. I'm very cognizant of all the pain, everything that's right there inside me. But being 30 days sober has taught me that it's the CBD that actually calms my nerves and slows down the seizures, slows down the tremors, slows down those MS spasms that shake you out the bed and stuff like that. I got creams and ointments I put on my legs at night laced those motherfuckers with magnesium and then i have uh different ones that i i got i got cbdjs that i that i fuck with my wife will actually let me smoke the cbg the cbdj inside the crib i don't walk i don't just roll around smoking all day on the cbd but i'm sitting at my desk and i feel it coming i know i'm nowhere shaking i'm gonna take a few drags and get that going i learned all that bro I learned all that because I'm sober, because I'm not so fucked up. And th look here, dog. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I grew up, I grew up with my mama and all her brothers and sisters saying, you don't get a hangover if you keep drinking. You never get a hangover if you, if you just keep drinking. Hangovers are, hangover, hangovers are for quitters, man. So... That's why I, so I pretty much treated life, dog, since like high school, college going on. Started drinking in high school, 
Sorry, mama. Yeah. I know I, I know my father knew he's asked me about it several times, about the liquor cabinet and different different things. Yeah, I was self-medicating and I was self-medicating in high school, walking slow, had, See, to, had to you put my safe hands too. all had to put my hands all on the wall. I was fucked up. I stayed fucked up in uh, high school. But made it, got through college, everything was going good. Got the MS and the alcohol got even worse. Like I'm starting. Dog, that out, shit I'm hurts too. In the day, I'm not having water because the alcohol helps me deal with all the pain. Besides the fact that the bills are due, and the wife is getting on me, and everything else coming at me, yo man, your boy is actually hurting. Like knees hurting, back hurting. I got this shit called spondylosis in my back. It comes with the MS, and spondylosis is where my my spine is my spine is de deteriorating. It's like an arthritis in my spine. I got like six hernia her six herniated disc, six bulging disc. So you ain't gotta have no no primary progressive multiple sclerosis to know about this mindset of a bullshit. If your back is always hurting, if your feet are always on fire, dog shit, you know what I'm talking about, bro. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Because you can pop some pills. You can take different vitamins. You're doing all type of things. I do yoga every single day. Every single day. I've done yoga drunk. Like every single 24 hours, I was doing at least one round of yoga. I got all the way up to 60 posts. Started at 12. Haven't missed a day in like three years. Last couple of weeks, I've been going a few, a few poses, a few rounds a day. But either way, I told y'all all that to say that these 30 days without the alcohol and my intention is to not come back. I don't have any urge to start drinking now. I have my 30 days. I've done 33. The longest I have made it is 33 days. The longest I've ever made it before in my life, 33 days without a drink. And I did that a few weeks ago, a few months ago. And I felt a little bit better I wrote the blog about it. You can check the blog out, allthingsonelove.com. I wrote the blog about it. And dog, after a couple of weeks, I had better energy. I felt good, skin glowing. <laughs> Doing all types of fly shit, man. But after a few weeks, it was more stress, more painful. It was all of that. It was more everything negative, trying to go without the alcohol. So, I hit 33 days. Started drinking, that was on my birthday. Thir my birthday, 2021, made it 33 days. Shit, I just didn't stop until this last 30. And I, I'm not gonna go back, man. I had a, I, I don't plan on going back, bro. I, know, I, I don't plan on going back. <clears throat> all the old heads, you read all types of memes and shit like that, they tell you that as you, when you know better, you do better. And what is happening that this time, during this last, during this recent 30-day spat, I had a bad, I was coming off a bad, a bad spell with the MS, crawling to the bathroom, all type of shit. So as I've gotten better with that, and I feel myself getting a little bit better all the time, like in random parts, like I'm not going to lie to you, but every single day I feel a little bit better. Bullshit, man. Like it's a bunch of days I have to write in my stuff, I have to say to myself, I'm saying out loud, I'm talking to the water that this is temporary, that this is temporary. Ups and downs, ups and downs, ups and downs. I tell people, my brother gets, he hates when I say it, man. But I tell people, yo dog, I have a chronic illness. Every day you see me is the best you'll ever fucking see me. So if you go a month without seeing me, a week without seeing me, yo, this is the best you'll ever fucking see me. That's not gonna be me bouncing back. You're not gonna come see me walking one day, all types of shit like that. And you never look at me suddenly and go, oh, man. Man, I got oh, like three or four blogs talking look about how to food. deal with your stomach. That's not going to happen with me. I have a chronic illness. That means the shit gets worse. It's an autoimmune disease. It gets worse. There's no cure for it. It gets worse. I have two or three. I got the MS. I got the spondylosis in my back. And I have this stuff called ulcerative colitis. in my stomach. They're all related to the MS. I got a tumor on my kidney. I got all types of shit. The tumor can be fixed, I know. The tumor can be fixed. That shit don't count. I just... Yo, man, y'all know what I'm talking about. 
you already scared of doctors and everything. And so you're always trying to think you can put mindset over, mindset over bush and you just work with it. That 30 days without alcohol is my greatest achievement so far. The fact that on 30 days I'm looking at y'all right now and I can tell y'all, yo bro, I don't plan on having one today, tomorrow, next week. It's spring break, start it up. So we're gonna go somewhere, do something. I don't plan on doing shit then. I just came off um, like last week. We had the big party, my brother's birthday party, 13, 14 cats, man. Yeah, baby. I never had a drink, never had a champagne, never had a wine, a beer, a damn thing. All I drank. My wife even brought pineapple juice and all types of little tonics and everything to make me non-alcoholic drinks. Nothing. Nothing, man. Water and lime juice, homie. Just found out I don't like lemon with my lime juice all this comes with being all this comes from being sober and i know I don't, I don't think i'm being an asshole about shit man i really don't i'm eating a lot cleaner and that's because of the sober when you're sober you don't have any slip-ups and suddenly eat a little bit of sugar or have a sandwich because that's still kind of good the sober has my health at the forefront of my consciousness like, I'm really thinking hard about my health. And it's all with that being sober. The whole shit with leaving, co dropping my coaching program, dropping, I only tutor on referral now. That's it. Like, that's it. I, I, got, I got five, six kids. If their families refer somebody else, I fucks with you. I fucks with you. Other than that, I'm not taking in. I don't take in a bunch of new people, man. I'm, I'm not doing shit like that. I do no more mentoring at all. No more coaching at all. I'm not even doing presentations. None of that shit, bro. None, I'm not holding free Zooms to teach people a damn thing. None of that shit, man. I'm focused on me. And that being sober has driven me crazy with being focused on me. And I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I am loving it. <laughs> intention today. So my intention. You know I got. You know I got to show y'all shit. Cause I know boys don't be thinking now. I'm out here doing the work. Boys will slip up and think I'm not doing the work. Shit, I put in the work, dog. I put in the work, King. I'm trying to be better every single fucking day. Every single day. I'm trying to get everything up a little bit more. But shit, it starts with me. My heart, my soul, all that type of good stuff. So my intention today, what I'm focused on, the water. I haven't got water outside. Y'all know I never have water outside here in the garage. And I'm on, see that? I've already had two of these. These are 25 ounces a piece. So that means I already had 50 ounces, half of that. I'm like at 60. Supposed to have four a day. Yeah, man, I am rocking and rolling, feeling good. The water is an intention. I didn't make it yesterday or the day before or the day before or the day before. I don't think I've made it. I haven't made it in like a week since I, I have not made it since we left for the birthday party. Once I cracked, once I broke my routine habits, that was it. But it's coming back, bro. It's coming back, dog. Constant you reminders. And you write this shit down. You are writing this shit down. Whatever the hell you are writing down for your intentions, for your yoga, for your working out, tracking your water. You might be tracking your vitamins. You might do the double manifestation. You are tracking that because you know looking at it all the time makes you get it done. I didn't write this shit down about how much water I'm keeping up with, my yoga poses, my meditation, my and manifestation, you know that you know that's a motherfucker. If I didn't write this shit down, then I wouldn't think about it throughout the day and I wouldn't even do it. But the fact that I write this shit down and then I'm also talking to y'all about it pushes me. And even with all that, I ain't made the water in over, in over a week. So I'm gonna I'm get it today. Fuck that. I'm getting it today. You hear me, water? Water, you hear me? I'm getting you today, homie. You have been good to me. Let's do this. 
Um, it's the day one of my manifestation. I fucked up yesterday. Once I slipped and missed the afternoon spot, I didn't try to do it. I figured there was no point in doing it that doing it that night and just thought I was already over with. Lazy, I know that's lazy. But hell, I bet a bunch of y'all would do that shit too. That's why we click up, link up, squad up. That's why we here. Call to action. Every day I got a call to action for the for the squad, for the tribe, every single day. The <gasps> call to action today. And the call to action is something I, I want y'all to do. I'm pushing, telling y'all to do. The call to action today. There is this book. You can get the audio book. I listened to the audio book. I didn't read it. I tried to read it. Got I got too much shit to do. And threw in the audio book. The author is <clears throat> Women's History Month, so I always got. I'm trying to do something there. The author of the month support women's history. There is a black author. Her name is L. A. Banks, man. L. A. Banks, <laughs> and she has this vampire series, and it starts with this book called Minion. Yo, bro, that book is off the chain, man. I'm talking about action. They doing all types of smashing and hair pulling and shit like that. It's not erotica, but it's damn near close. Um, Spanish and black people getting into it all the time. Some of the time they link up, click up. And it, it's a vampire series, right? This is what makes it really, really wild out. It's a vampire series. The villains, the, va the vampires are major hip-hop labels and hip-hop artists. So when they have these mad parties and crazy parties and everything, boys out there smoking and getting, getting blazed up, the vampires out there treating that bitch like a straight-up feeding ground. It is crazy. And I mean, the, and then she tells this so wild out, man, from the tattoos to how cut-up people are, the way these dudes get murked, because I will, I'm not going to lie to you, Cats get, boys get murked all the time trying to get some. Let me, you know that right now, if you check it out. Read the book, it's called Minion. The author, black author, L.A. Banks. Read the book, Minion. Vampire series. The vampires are hip hop artists and hip hop major hip hop labels. She and her squad, she, she, has a whole, she has a whole little team of goons, man. Whole little team of goons. Prophecies, all types of wild ass shit. And she is the, the major leader of the vampire slayers. Coming of age. I don't want to tell y'all too. I don't want to, I'm to tell y'all. I can't tell y'all too much, man. But this shit is absolutely worth this it. This is the free app I'm going to tell y'all about. I jammed the audio book. I can tell y'all more about different shit too. But that audio book, Minion, check that out. Um, you can get it on the <clears throat> Apple, but I use the The Audible app is app called app Overdrive. It's free if on Google free and shit, Apple. Let me, tell you, let, me, let me tell you some good stuff. If you want to do the free shit free, There is a free app called, and it's tied to your, it's tied to every city's public library. What's the name of that app? I don't have it on my Apple phone. I had it on my Android, but the Apple is so, it's so whatever, man. If I find it, I'll put it on the blog too, if I remember. I'm, cause I'm, I don't have my pen to write anything down. Or if you send me a comment and drop a comment, it'll be easier for me to know. So if you're jamming this on, if you're listening to me on Apple, listening to me, watching me on Spotify, watching me on YouTube, watching me on allthingsonelove.com, the home for everything, mindset over bullshit, then I'll I'll put the link in there. If the I'll put the link in there. And if not, you gotta text me or something, man. I don't know. I'm trying to remember. The value of Okay, listen. I got it. I know, I know, I know. Stop saying listen. That's like my filler. <laughs> the value. I want to tell y'all about being a rhino, bro. That's what you're doing, King. You hear about lions and tigers and bears. You hear about all these monsters and shit that you can be. The animal that your boy has chosen. The animal that I rock with that represents me all the way is that rhinoceros, dude. Mm. 
And I do the rhinoceros because you see how big he is. You know that mug can be black as hell. He's got that big horn so nobody's fucking with him. But the two awesome fly things about the rhino. Number one, the way his body is constructed, it cannot walk in reverse. It can't, it has to actually turn all the fuck around. So if a rhino was going this way, he had to make his goddamn me mind before he actually turns and he steers course. But he's not doing a bunch of this shit, backing up and coming all the way back. That's not what the fucking rhino does, dog. This, he'll, he'll turn around on your ass, but that's it. Forward, forward, that's it, forward. I'm digging that. I'm digging that. That matches up with the mindset of a bullshit lifestyle so much. When I was a teacher, I taught that to my students. Mindset over bullshit. And I used to always tell them, be the rhinoceros, not the sheep. Be the rhino, not the sheep. You don't just, somebody, somebody don't just make you back up. You turn around because you've changed your mind because you've learned some new things. You don't just back up on motherfuckers like that way. Nobody makes you just back up that way. You go forward. And then number two, the best thing about the rhino is this. In the video Whenever I showed y'all earlier, the no space what in, in between with, the bars you in, lets the you rhino in, think he can speak, actually get out. So he'll go up has, and down the sides and look for a way around. A rhino, and he'll hit the pool and just chill. The, zoo. the rhino always has his own lake, own little pool, always has a shade tree. And it's always that little bitty ass wall. And you think to yourself, I can jump over this wall my damn self. What the hell? Little bitty ass wall. If he wanted to just break through the wall, he could just break through that bitch. You know damn well he could. It's like that. Because the way the rhinoceros brain is wired, the way it is chemically is, whatever. It never loses the will to go and keep going. So if it thinks it's caged up, it will bang its head against the wall. It'll keep ramming into the wall until either the wall falls or until it dies. It won't eat. And when it knocks itself out, it'll get up staggering and go right back at the wall before even eating again. Like it won't, it won't, won't do it. You can have the, you, you can have, the, you can have the food right there. The rhino will go past the food and go at that goddamn wall again, man. Because either he goes free, either she goes free, either they go. Free or they die. I am in love with that, man. That's that mindset of a bullshit, dog. Either we get free or we fucking die. Like, that's it for me, man. That is it for me. Y'all know I gave up. I told you I gave up the coaching, the mentoring, all the other type of shit. I'm only tutoring and doing other things on on referral. No more, no more advertising, no more dropping a damn thing. Only on referral. And that's because I gotta get free, man. And being free means all I do is fuck with y'all every single day. We chop on music. We chop on mindset of bullshit. We chop on goals. We chop on stats. We chop on and tell these gratitude stories, how to keep your mindset above everything bullshit, man. It's a university for it. It's where we hold this thing down. Do all types of shit. You can meet up with me and we can do a group meditation, dog. We can do group yogas, fool. Bro, listen, listen, listen. I told y'all I got that love language test. And your kids, hook up with me. I will stop what I'm doing to do that with you. We can put a Zoom together. Put whoever, whoever's kids y'all want. Put the kids on there. You can be doing your shit, whatever. She, she can be doing whatever. He can be doing whatever. You can be doing whatever. And you put them kids in, in front of the screen. Let them have pen and paper. And I will do the love language test for you right there on screen. You can be listening and talking to them as you're doing it. You can take the test as they take the test. That way you know what you are. That type of shit I fucks with. That type of shit I'll do. That's the type of shit that I will bring to you. This is rhino type shit, bro. Like, I'm not going to back my book. I'm not backing me up. I'm not backing my shit up. No, no, no. I don't walk things back. If I learn something new, as I'm growing, I might turn around a little bit or I might sway. But yo, man, this is all about going forward, dog. I am a rhinoceros. I don't turn around. I go fucking free. I'm going to live free. I'm going to die trying. That's it, man. That's it. You start out a
<laughs> Look, a thug is trying hard to understand gratitude. Thugs, trying hard to understand gratitude. When you graduate past that, you become a rhino like your boy. You know who you are, what you are, why you are grateful, what makes you happy, your love language, all that good shit, your analysis, all this type of great stuff. You know if you are left-brained or right-brained, man, come on. Then you are a rhino that goes free you die trying. You build your own business. You do whatever. You can even work for some other bullshit, man. You just get what you want, how you want it, the way you need it. Then you ain't stunning it. Then nothing else even matters. But that's how you become a rhino. You start a thug, become a rhinoceros in this bitch, and then nobody tells you shit else. I'm talking about, dog. You know what I'm talking about, bro. Um, I got to go today. <laughs> you gonna laugh at me, man. You gonna laugh at me, dog. But listen, my goal is to watch. Is to watch that reunion episode of Love of Love is Blind. Fuck what y'all talking about. Fuck what y'all talking about. We're laughing, with all giggling. <laughs> he watched that shit. Yep, I sure do. And it's not my wife got it on it either. I got her on Love is Blind. My goal is to watch that today. That's the goal. Whatever it is to get your mind out of a negative space and watching that shit. I can be doing all types of freaking out spasms, hurting. I can be coughing and everything. If I'm, if I'm just laying there in bed, let me watch shit like that. Let me, let me watch boys trying their best to get what I want, what I have, what I need. Love, man. All the way, bro. <laughs> I, I like that shit. Cheesy as it is, I like it. Y'all know I got cheesy gratitudes, easy gratitudes, musical gratitudes. Told y'all you can watch that. Um, told y'all yesterday you can watch that new earthquake. Gratitude. I just dropped a review of Grand Crew. King, they say black men don't read. Until you read my review of Grand Crew. Because that motherfucker funny. Gratitude. You do whatever you can to keep shit open. One of mine, I watch Love is Blind, so look what they talking about, dog. Do you. Gratitudes. Number one, I am calling this morning routine where I'm waking up at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning and staying up. I'm calling it the production meetings because I'm meeting with my personal trainer, my social media strategist, Arguing and debating with the writers and the creators over direction of content. And I play every single freaking role. And I love this, man. I look forward to getting up at 2 a.m. Talking to my damn self. Out loud. Higher than the cost of gas. <laughs> yes. Living this mindset over bullshit lifestyle. Because the whole point. Ain't nobody got to understand the shit that you do to be you, to grow you, except you. It's all about going forward, man. Mindset over bullshit. It's all about going forward. You find the things that you're grateful for and you keep going. The fact that I'm up in two or three could make some people angry, can make you frustrated throughout the day. I am so in love with doing this shit with y'all, bro. This shit gets me crunk. I fall asleep thinking about what to say. I'm not doing mindset of a bullshit. This is the university. Capture that. I wish I could put that on tape. Number two. Ooh, New York has become New York City has that marijuana license and it will go to first it will go to the offenders of marijuana first. That is crunk shit. I am grateful for that. Because it is a step, step towards settling some of the different gaps in the country. First, addressing the money gaps, the monetary gaps, especially with people who've been locked up and incarcerated for no fucking reason. That's a whole positive story for your ass. And that gives hope to others. 
especially the families of people who have been locked up. Yo, man, your gratitudes ain't got to have shit to do with you. Ain't got shit, shit to do with you. I am not directly affected by that New York law. But reading that shit, oh, wow. I, need, I, need, I forgot I wrote that shit down. I, that, wow. So if you, didn't, if, you didn't, if you did not understand it, New York will allow the offenders. That means if you have been locked up, if you've been in jail for possession of marijuana, you will get first crack at getting a marijuana license. Yeah, that is cool shit. That's good shit, man. I'm trying to get one of my damn self right now. I'm in Texas. I'm trying to get one of my damn self right now. I'll leave it right there. But the fact that New York is doing that, congratulations, New York. Props, props to you. Props to New York. I like shit like that. That type of shit, I'm grateful for. Yes, yes, yes. That makes me happy. That feels like my book that gives other families a chance. Like, I got a chance, dog. Last one, number three. Number three. I found a shortcut to editing. King. No more thinking. I got to go through Google Drive first, then upload to Anchor, Spotify, etc. Nope. Instead, after I get published and everything through YouTube, I can just directly download straight from YouTube, then upload. No more having to upload somewhere else first. No, man, that shit was... Because the upload to Google was taking days. I mean, 48, 62 hours like that. And I know it starts out that way when you're doing new things because Google, Facebook, all these social media things want to make sure you are not just putting bullshit out there. So I get that. But man, it's been a week and Google still is taking days to upload shit. Now, once I upload to YouTube, I can just down download from YouTube anywhere else and then put it on Anchor, which goes every, every place else. That way you can jam mindset over bullshit. You can watch me on YouTube. You can watch me on Spotify. You can watch this on allthingsonelove.com. This is a mindset over bullshit production, dog. And if you want to just listen to the shit, Apple, um, Google, Anchor, all type of different places. If you want to just listen to it, go to the homepage of allthingsonelove.com. Scroll to the bottom, you'll see it. And you can just listen to me. That way, you clean up the kitchen, clean up the bathroom. Boom, that's all you need. The kids. Maybe you're just sitting there bored and shit, don't know what else to do. You're just zipping around the house, looking out the window, whatever, man. You can play it. And if you want to watch it, fucks with me when I add all this editing and do all the other type of fly shit. YouTube, Spotify, catch me on allthingsonelove.com. So, before we roll out of here, for Mindset of a Bullshit University, day number five, quick reminder, quick reminder, the call to action today, that author, her name is L.A. Banks, and the book is called Minion. L.A. Banks, the book is called Minion. And I think that's it. For the first time today, I will be dropping credits. So after this, I will be dropping credits. So I, all I need to do is just say, y'all be pretty, stay grateful, like, share, comment, roll with your boy, man. Follow this Mindset Over Bullshit University. It's a daily show on allthingsonelove.com. Drop it on YouTube. Drop it on Spotify. Somebody has just joined me on the way. I'm on the way out. I don't know who rocking with me, but I'm just on the way out. I will be. It takes about. It takes a couple of hours for the final video to come up. But of course, y'all know you're part of this. Oh, I have not told a secret though. The secret is we are not charging anymore to join the group. And I know you're shocked. Like, wait a minute. You charge the money to join the group? I ain't paid nothing. True. True, nobody has paid a damn thing yet, but it is promoted and advertised as the agency of gratitude. And you either got to purchase one of my books or you had to purchase one of my services in order to get admission into here. Dropping all this shit, dog. Busting this motherfucker wide open. Wide 
open. Join Mindset Over Bullshit University on Facebook. There you go. Join the group on Facebook. Your boy will be here doing his thing every single day, even on weekends. Post videos. We can share ideas and thoughts that will make it on the show sometimes. Come on, man. Fuck with me. Fuck with me. YouTube, Facebook, the blog, allthingsonelove.com. Y'all know what's up, man. I appreciate y'all for rocking with your boy. A thousand thank yous. Kings, keep your goddamn head up, man. You know you got to keep going. You know you do. Every single day, we keep going. Wheelchairs don't stop us. Illnesses don't stop us. Bills don't stop us. Who you are with does not stop you. Who you ain't with does not stop you, dog. You're a king. Act like it. You pick your fucking head up and you act like it, dog. Stay pretty. Be grateful. I'm out. This the way that I was brought up, this the way that I was taught, this the way that I was bred down, this the way that I was raised. So it hustles in my music, man, the blunts get played. See, I'm the king of my throne, East Texas till I'm gone. So you best to do your homework or go violate that zone. See, I was raised in them sticks, forever hitting licks. And I'ma stay that way until I'm carried by six. I ain't just talking trap licks, I done mastered the plot. Nigga, I'm on the bigger things, I'm trying to elevate my stock. So I'm massive from the block, and you don't see me in the streets. You can catch me in the boot, dog, breaking the knife. Ain't a nigga flies with me.